Hi everyone, welcome to a new vlog of mine. I may obviously edit this because I'm not sure how much you can see of me. You are probably just looking at my chest most probably, but you know, here we are. But if I've done a separate intro, then I would ed have edited this bit out. But if not, welcome to a new vlog. This is my birthday blow up vlog. I'm literally just on my way to my nails now. Um, and this week I'm getting my nails done and then my hair done and then next week literally the day before my birthday I'm getting my lashes done so I thought I would film like a birthday glow up session with you um, so I'm gonna be there in about 10 minutes so I thought I would share who I go to what I have done um, all the bits like that really so it's a bit of a different one for me but I thought you know got to get into this whole vlogging game and it can't always just be baby hauls and baby stuff so I thought I would try something different I hope that's okay with you guys sorry you can just keep seeing my steering wheel and hearing my indicators um, but yeah I'm driving there now I've got the worst case of extreme mum guilt if you just seen my Instagram today that this is how if you follow me on Instagram and my YouTube you'll know when I film this then because I just said like I'm feeling really overwhelmed with like everything at the minute you know trying to be a mum a wife a friend a YouTuber an Instagrammer you know uh, I work part time as well like you know so yes just feel a bit overwhelmed with everything like there's just not enough hours in the day and I'm just not getting anything done or finishing anything like my house is an absolute shithole and I hate that um, oh god I hate that um, railway crossing it makes like my insides go funny when you go over it oh. um, so yeah I'm just feeling a bit Ugh, right now like really overwhelmed with everything but I've written a list of the things I need to do so you know I'm just going to have to start doing more in the evenings and like my lunch hour with work because um, I work from home so yeah well I work from home most of the time but sometimes I do go into the office but yes anyways you don't need to know my work schedule <laughs> um, but yeah I just feel a bit like a lot right now and yeah even going to get my nails done I'm like oh my god I feel so guilty um, and I know every, everyone says you know if you don't take care of yourself then you know you can't like take care of someone else um, but yeah I just need to sort of sack today off and start again really it's all going to be fine it's just a rubbish day I'll probably do on my period or something um, knowing me um, so yeah that's where we're at anyways but on that you know light note if you haven't subscribed to my channel already um, please do make sure you go and do that now it's just underneath this video you'll see the little subscription button um, it literally takes 30 seconds and it's completely free so I'd really really appreciate that um, and if you haven't subscribed and you don't know what I like to do on this channel it's you know all things pregnancy, baby, motherhood, um, toddlerhood, um, God, um, halls, beauty, um, it's all a mixture of things to be honest so there is a bit for everyone so if that is your cup of tea then obviously please do make sure you subscribe I would really really appreciate it um, trying to think what else I've got to update you on um, god I need to put some lip balm on I actually wanted to share with you my new favourite lip product it's the Rodial Lip Oil I didn't buy it when it first came out it took me a while 
and I absolutely love it now. So it's like a really, really nourishing lip oil, but it has like a little bit, I could be totally wrong with this. But I think it has like the little plumping bits in it, which plump your lips, but it's not that really horrible plumping feeling where like your lips literally feel like being stabbed. It's actually really, really nice. Um, and you don't get that feeling, which I absolutely love. Um, and it's only 25 pounds, so I think it's really, really good. So I definitely recommend that. I'll show you the packaging when I stop. I can't show you obviously now because I am driving. Um, but yeah, I really want to share that with you. I haven't even shared it on my Instagram. Um, so yes, uh, when I get back, I do need to actually email Hairburst back because I've asked them for a discount code for you guys. So I just need to get on with that at the moment. Um, they've asked me a few questions that so I need to answer, but that's fine. So hopefully, coming very, very soon, I will have a hairburst um, discount code for you. Oh my god, I hate pulling out a junction where I have to go across both sides. Oh my god, oh my god, pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. I did it. Um, so yes, watch out, watch this space. Hopefully there will be a discount code coming your way. Um, I will let you know as soon as I've got it. Um, I'm really enjoying taking those vitamins. I can definitely feel the difference in my hair now. Um, it took a little while, um, but I can definitely tell the difference, especially when I like feel it. Um, and when I'm like washing and drying it now, I can definitely feel that my hair is a little bit thicker. I'm not there, like completely there yet but I'm definitely on the right track, which I'm super, super happy about. So I think I'm definitely gonna do their subscription service, um, which I will link down below for you. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I had dinner before I came out, so now I've got the hiccups. Um, but yeah, I'm literally driving to my nails as we speak. I go to Upper Hand Nails in Abt Hill. Um, I just love her. She's the best. She does always does such a good job with my nails. Ignore my nails right now because this one, me, wasn't very good with booking her appointments. So I um, have managed to go about five and a half weeks without having an appointment, which is not like me. Um, so yes, they are really long. Some of them are broken and really grown out. So we are about to fix this. But I think, obviously, I'm going to go for a nude. Obvs, because we all know I love a nude. But I will share them with you once I get there. I haven't even asked if she'll, like, allow me to film. I'm sure she'll be fine. And if she doesn't, then you'll never know, because I'll never put this video up. Because I won't have done anything. Um, but yeah, I'm sure she'll be fine. I'll ask her when I get there, and obviously show you the salon. Um, so if you are local to like the Milton Keynes of Bedford area, then I definitely suggest coming to see Millie at Upper Hand Nails. She is insane and really reasonably priced as well. Um, and she does sell the best cuticle oils. I am going to pick another one up today. I may or may not already have five, but they look really uneven on my dressing table now, so I need six. I basically buy one every time I go, but... I'm actually nearly there. And now I'm going super slow up this hill. Let's maybe go a bit faster, shall we? There we go. I can drive, I promise. Um, so yeah, hopefully this, you can see a little bit of my face. Um, and why is my car not, not playing ball? That's not just me. Anywho, um, yes, I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Hopefully the next frames will be like you seeing me get my nails done and a time lapse and everything like that. So yeah, I hope you can actually see my face because this is really awkward if you're just like talking to my boobs. Um, but yes, I hope to 
be showing you all of that and I will catch up with you guys soon. So after this I will insert the footage of like my treatment and everything. Um, so this morning, I'm so sorry I'm so out of breath, um, just went like ran up the stairs, but yeah, I'm so out of breath, I don't know what is wrong with me, I'm so hot as well. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, so yeah, at 10 o'clock today um, I went and got my hair done, so that's why it's all curly. 
um so i had my like roots touched up and i had all the blonde put back through my hair and just had a real freshen up had some length taken off the ends um had an olaplex treatment popped in there as well so my hair feels beautiful um but yeah it's just for and it was don't judge me for this but it was lovely to be baby free for a, a few hours it was great but obviously i missed him and then i came back and i've played with him all afternoon um and now he's with his dad downstairs so i thought i would come and quickly film this little bit to go with um the footage i took um so i go to hair by jade in um fairfields in milton Keynes. um so she runs the business from home um she has converted her whole garage into a salon so sorry that is my phone going off that is our street group chat which is going to keep going off so i'm going to mute it there we go um yeah she's converted her whole garage into a salon which is really really lovely it's got like marble floors um and it has two seats so she usually does you and someone else sort of at the same time so like whilst your colors on and cooking she'll start someone else and then obviously you just keep swapping and um, so that works really really well um she does offer products which um include fanola um olaplex lots of the the color wow range she has quite a lot of that i wish i'd filmed it but there was someone sat next to me so i didn't want to get them in the shot um and then she's also got on the other side she had um sway hair care which can be used for extensions and also can be used on non-extensioned hair that really didn't that wasn't grammatically correct was it um and there's a really good offer with that actually she gives not she gives you so you can get the shampoo the conditioner the um hair oil the heat protection spray and a big hair mask for 50 pounds so i think for decent hair care that is really reasonable um so yeah definitely um hit her up if you want access to those products she will obviously sell them to you um so i think that's really good that when you go to her and she uses something on you then you can like pick it up there and then as well i really love that it's just so easy um and she offers the olaplex actually a little bit cheaper than you can get it online so it's definitely worth going to her if you go for your hair definitely worth going to her for your products as well i thoroughly recommend them i've got some of the color wow stuff already and i've got olaplex from her as well um so yeah i went like i said at 10 this morning it was lovely um she put a couple of blondes through my hair i don't know the exact colors so if you want to know let me know in the comments down below and i can ask her but i don't know but yeah i tend to only go like two or three times a year um because i'm trying to keep my hair in really good condition um and i think where i lost the good condition in my hair was when i went to someone else um and they weren't the best and then i think she like over colored my hair quite a lot um so yeah i'm just trying to get it back into a really good position um i'm definitely thinking about getting the hair extensions but that's a lot of money and a lot of upkeep so that's probably why i'm only thinking about them <laughs> um we were talking about it today and if i was to get them i would get a weave and um, that is the cheaper option um so the hair would last for like 18 months and then to have it refitted it's like 30 pounds per row um so that's reasonable i would say but yeah it's just not something i can upkeep financially right now um so yeah so she does offer um balayage um like but any hair color basically um she does offer extensions and it's not just the weave it's the weave 
tapes and I think she said nano rings. Uh, but like I said, just get in contact with her and obviously you can talk to her about it because she is the expert. Um, but yeah, I just had the best time. Just chilled out for a few hours, had my hair done, caught up with a couple of bits on my phone. Um, obviously had a chat with her. Um, yeah, and it was lovely. So I would insert um, the footage in in a second. Um, but I'll pop all the details in the description box down below. So if you wanted to contact Jade, then obviously please go down below into my description box. That sounded very seductive, didn't it? Um, and just go and check her page out. And if you wanted to pick in with her, then just drop her a message on there. And I'm sure she will happily respond and get you in as soon as she can. Um, but yeah, definitely worth a try if you are on the hunt for a new hairdresser. Um, I much prefer going to people's houses. I don't know about anyone else on here. I'm just not about going to a salon anymore. Like, all of my beauty treatments are, yeah, they're all, like, home businesses. My nail lady has moved into her own salon, but it's hers, and she started at home, so... I don't feel like that's the same. That's still fine. But yeah, I just used to hate going to like actual hairdressers in a hairdressing salon. I don't know. I just used to hate it. They never used to listen to what you wanted and it was just never right. So yeah, I much prefer going to a home salon. Um, so yeah, this is my new hair. I hope you like it. Um, oh, honestly, I wish I could be bothered to do curly hair every day, but so this is just a one-off for you. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm going to start waffling on because this has been seven and a half minutes. Um, I'll insert the footage now for you um, of like when I got my hair done. And then the next treatment you should be maybe seeing is my lashes. But I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it or not because you do have quite a few people in the salon at the time. So I'm not really sure, like obviously I don't want to put people on the internet that don't want to be on the internet, um, but yeah, I'll see, we'll see how it goes. I will obviously still link all of my Lash Ladies details down below for you, um, but watch this space. There'll be a clip probably after my hair montage, um, which is either going to be me saying I just didn't film, and giving you all the details or you'll see me filming who knows anyways i'm gonna go because it's now eight and a half minutes so i hope you enjoy my little montage of my hair and i will see you soon let me go go let me go go let me go i told you i'm not yours anymore no i'm not yours so why are you trying to hold on to hold on when i'm not there for you wanna take a different lane wanna play my own game and i don't need you here so won't you let me go wanna take this ball and chain that you have put on me and throw it out the window i think that you should let go cause you know this is not meant to be let go Go, 
go, let me go, go. Let me go, 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 go, let me go, go, let me go, 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 let me go, go, go. Told you I'm not yours. So why are you trying to hold on? I think that you should let go. Cause you know this is not meant to be. Let go. Maybe I should have known that you are not the right one for me. Let go. I think that you should. of my video 
Um, I said obviously I would input the footage from my lashes. As you can see, there is no footage. Um, for a couple of reasons. Um, there were quite a few people there, um, so obviously I don't want to put people on the internet that aren't on the internet, that's not very fair. So obviously I didn't do that. And second of all, I probably wouldn't have done it anyway because I was so poorly, it wasn't even funny. So if you follow me on um, my Instagram, both my handles are in the description box. Um, if you wanted to go and give me a follow, you have my private, not my private page, my personal page, which is Alicia Peaches. And then um, you have like my baby toddler page, which is um, Toddler Tommy but they are all down there. So just click on there if you wanted to go and give me a follow, that would be lovely. Um, but if you follow me on my Instagram pages, you will see that we had a really tough week with Tommy, tantrum wise and just behavior wise. And it just really, really knocked me out, literally. So like I went to my lashes and I literally just like laid there. Usually I'm like so chatty and things like that, but yeah I was just like oh yeah you okay like I was really just like huh. just trying to get through the appointment really without falling asleep um and I, I honestly didn't feel very well that day when I got home afterwards I don't even remember like going to bed or anything like that so yeah I was just really worn out so I just wouldn't have been much fun with that anyway but I still wanted to include it so I go to um Lola's Lashes um, I have been going to her for six years, six years. I actually started going because I wanted um, lash extensions for when I went to New York, like way back when. And I thought, oh, okay, that'll just be nice, you know, New York. Because uh, I think I went to New York in November, like end of November. I'll have them for like November and Christmas and then, you know, I'll just go back to normal. Well, six years later. Here we are. <laughs> it is a love affair I will never break up from. Um, but yeah, so she is based in Milton Keynes in Bletchley. Um, I will pop her Instagram down below. So if you wanted to contact her and um, look into starting your lash journey there, then obviously I thoroughly recommend her. She doesn't just do lash extensions. She does um, like lash lifts. Um, brow lamination she also does aesthetics so she does like botox and things like that um but obviously i'm no expert so she is definitely the person to go and speak to um honestly enza is like my therapist like she's she's not just my lash tech she's my therapist she's my friend she's just my my person <laughs> um but no, I, I always have so much fun going there um, when I'm on top form. Tuesday, we will say I was not. Um, but yeah, that's where I go. It has been a six year love affair. Um, she's super reasonably priced. Um, I think for a full set, it's 60. For infills, it's 30. And for a mini, it is £15. I'm sure that's what the last like price increase was and still is at the moment. Um, so yeah, that, I think that's really super reasonable. So, I mean, other people might think differently, but if you're not getting your lashes done, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm okay with paying it, so, you know. Um, so yeah, I went there on Tuesday, so that was the day before my birthday. Um, and I will be back there, not this week, but the week after I think. I, so I tend to go every two weeks. Um, so that's not too bad. Sorry, I'm just looking at my blusher. I'm wondering if it's a bit, a bit much, but never mind. We've already started filming now. Um, so yeah, they are all my beauty treatments I had prior to my birthday. So you would have seen my nails, um, my hair, and you haven't seen my lashes but i've told you about my lashes um but they i mean they're my just usual beauty treatments anyway th there's nothing sort of um different or out of the ordinary there so it's just what i had done 
what I would have done usually, but it was all sort of centered around my birthday. So I thought I'd just share those with you. Don't watch my nail because I have broken it, which I am absolutely, I can't do that because it will be like I'm swearing to Instagram, Instagram, YouTube. But yes, I have broken this nail and I'm raging about it. So I need to book in and get that sorted. Um, but that concludes all my beauty treatments for you guys. Um, so I will pop everything that I've mentioned in the description box down below. And if you do have any questions about anything of, um, that I've shared with my beauty treatments and you just want more info, then please either let me know in the comments down below or do contact me via my socials, which are also included down in the description box as well. And I will be happy to answer any questions you have. And next up, I think we'll, I'm going to be sharing my what I got for my birthday stuff i think in this video i think so i think i will um but yeah i'm just gonna set that up Hi guys so um in this section of the video i'm gonna show you uh, or share with you what i got for my birthday this year 2022 um i was going to do this as a video on its own um but i thought it would just make a little bit more sense to put like my beauty treatments for my birthday and what i got for my birthday all together um, just in one video otherwise it's just like two separate birthday videos and I thought it'd just be a lot easier for you guys to watch if they're all in one and if you just wanted to either do the beauty treatments bit you can just watch that bit and if you wanted the what I got for my birthday you can just skip through the beauty bits and um, come and see what I got for my birthday obviously I want you to watch the whole thing but you know we all have a very very busy lives I understand that so this section is purely my what I got for my birthday. Um, in 2022, I turned the grand old age of 32, which is very depressing. Maybe I should be treating myself to some Botox this year. Maybe I will. Who knows? Watch this space. It's definitely going to be the year, I think, if I do. You know, your girl needs some... Uh, some help up there but anyways that's another day and video actually that is my little boy crying downstairs he is down there with his dad don't worry i think he might be going for a nap i've just heard the curtains close um but yes anyways let's not get sidetracked because this is all about what i got for my birthday um Obviously, if you haven't subscribed already, please do make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would be so, so, so grateful. Um, I would just ask as a little birthday gift from you guys to me, if you could subscribe, that would mean so, so much to me. Um, so thank you very much. Um, so let's crack on, because I'm just waffling. Um, so first up, I don't know if I'm just gonna do these in any particular order, to be honest. Um, so first, up i got a little gift from my brother-in-law and sister-in-law and my two little nephews so they got me a keyring with my initial there this is from marks and spencers um i will do what i can with these bits to link them down below obviously some of the stuff i didn't buy so i don't know necessarily where they're from but if i can link them i will have linked them down below um, and then got some golden blonde salted caramel um, chocolates there from m &S as well. So I will be eating those. And then from Adam's parents, I got an m &S milk, dark and white chocolate selection. So you get 22 bits of chocolate in there. So that's very nice. I'm going to go put those on my dining table today I think because it's meant to be a lovely day so I'm gonna go and pop those out on the table and have them just little snacks um, and then I also got a Harrods voucher from them as well and um, so it comes with a little personalized card and then voucher and um, I think I got 50 pounds but let me check yeah 50 pounds so that will be spent probably quite swiftly <laughs> um, 
so yes do love me a harrods beauty voucher so that will be spent very quickly um and then next up i'm just gonna take that bit out sorry that's gonna be very noisy um next up i got some gifts from my um other brother-in-law and his fiance um and it was just like a lovely little bag of treats to be honest um so i will show you so i got a birthday cake lip balm um valley soap sheffield so i assume this is like a local business because they live in sheffield uh black palm palm black palm what the hell is wrong with me? black palm oh, i've done it again <laughs> black plum and rhubarb handmade soap oh that does smell very nice actually so i'll put that in the bathroom ready to use i could edit that bit out but i'm not going to because you know i like to be open and honest around here and show that some days i can't even read um then i got this badge that says you look lovely today um got another badge that says my queen definitely gonna wear that on the daily and then this came together so it's like a little um notepad so it's taking care of business and then it has like the list and then you can tick off your jobs and it came with this um 10 meter it's called washi tape it says to do don't forget so i assume you can use this tape to like tape it up somewhere if you wanted to um but yeah i love a little notepad so that will come very useful and i love a list so we all know that will be being used probably today um because i need to i've kind of had a week off of like not life because i have a toddler but i've had a week off like instagram youtube like doing any jobs really so yeah you know i just had a week off so i need to do a to-do list of everything i need to catch up on now um and then they got me this candle which is lavender and roman chamomile yeah and how aesthetically pleasing is this candle it's so so nice um so oh god i wish you could smell it Oh, that is so nice. Um, and this works, it's meant to be a really good brand. I've never actually had anything like that before. So I think I'm going to pop that in my bedroom once I've tidied and cleaned it. You know, when you tidy and clean something and then you put something new out, that, that's what I'm going to do. Um, but yes, loved, loved, loved that. Um, so that will be going out. Um, and from Adam, um, Tommy's present apparently is still on its way. It's was late with dispatch and um, he did order it in plenty of time i still don't know what it is because he won't tell me um but it's on its way so if it comes i'll pop it in the description box down below before i put this video live if it doesn't then look out on my instagram and i'll probably share it on there um i love this paper by the way it probably definitely gives away what it is um i will be keeping this um so I really wanted the Impressa perfume from Pen Halligans, um, but obviously it is major expensive. Um, I, I did put it on there, you know, I didn't think I was going to get it. But Adam brought me the um, like minis version, so you get five in here. It's the ladies fragrance collection um, and it has Impressa in it, but it has a few others that I can try as well. which probably isn't very good because I only asked for one and now I might want five so you know um, but it has the favourite um, Elizabethan Rose, Halfetti, Empressa and Luna um, and they're all um, the little mini bottles and so I will be putting those out on the side probably over here somewhere um, but yes love 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 them little miniature collection so I will be definitely given those a go i've tried it in presser and i love it um but yeah it's super super expensive 
So when I make it on YouTube and I earn like a living from it, I will definitely be going to buy myself a bottle of that. Um, also, I'm just going to put some of these bits away because they're leaning on the bit I wanted to show you. Um, no, let me just get rid of those. So my mum and dad had been taking the mick of, out of me like for the few days before my birthday. So Adam's parents bought him a lawnmower for his birthday and I obviously like we all take the mick a little bit because it's like oh what did you get for your birthday? A lawnmower like ha 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 not really a birthday present um but that's what they got and that's what he I don't know if he said he wanted it I think he said we needed one and we were looking at one and then they brought it for his birthday um so we obviously like make a bit of a joke about it and my dad was like oh you know be careful because you know you'll get an Adam present one day too and I was like I didn't really pay any attention and then they brought me down this big box on my birthday and I was like oh my god like what did I put on my list that was that big like what the hell was going on um and then I opened it so I'll show you what it is and then I'll give you a tiny bit of a backstory um but it is a hoover <laughs> because I am now of that age which is exactly what I thought when I opened it I was like oh my god my birthdays are now that age where I get like hoovers and like lawnmowers and things like that like actual things that you know you need but you don't necessarily like you do want them i'm not really explaining this very well but you know what i mean like for your birthday you're always like oh i want makeup i want perfume i want handbags i want you don't necessarily you know, want a hoover you might need a hoover but you don't necessarily like want it for your birthday um but the backstory is our hoover we have like the dyson not the cordless one just like the normal one but it's really hard to do the stairs with um so my mum and dad have the dyson cordless so when i pick tommy up from them sometimes i still like the handheld bit without the like the long attachment and i bring it home and hoover my stairs and then take it back to them and i think this is probably because they were just getting really annoyed with me doing that um but they have bought us well bought me a hoover to use so i can do it myself and i don't have to keep um stealing it i've never heard of this brand before but i'm gonna go and put, as you can see it hasn't been even been opened yet but i'm gonna go put this on charge and we're gonna mount it um in our understairs cupboard which is where all our cleaning stuff goes but i literally cannot wait to hoover my stairs with my own hoover which is shows I'm now 32 and loving life. Um, but yeah, so that will teach me not to take the mick out of my husband and his birthday presents because I got the same. <laughs> um, but not that they needed to redeem themselves, but I was like, oh, okay, that's that's great. But like, you know, any makeup, <laughs> like lipstick, anything. Um, oh. Actually, before I show you what else they got me as well, they did get me a, um, the Twilight Spa package, maybe, I think it's called, at, um, Aquasana at Boyburn Centre Parks, um, so we've just got to pick a date for that, so me and my mum are going to go to that, um, which will be lovely, um, not sure whether that was a pre-planned one or after the week I had with Tommy and not feeling great that that was a oh let's maybe you know calm her down and make her feel better but either way I'm good with it I'm happy with it I'm very excited to go to that to be honest um and then last up is the good stuff from um Christian Dior um so then my mum brought in this <laughs> bag after the hoover um and showed me this so i have been so you know i've got the maison christian dior lucky perfume now i brought that because i was like oh yeah i really like it but there was always an original one that i liked and i didn't buy it and i've regretted it ever since um but they are a little bit spenny so um i keep putting this one on my list I, it's been on my christmas list it's been on I think two birthday lists um, and now I finally have it 
Um, so here's the box. It was all obviously lovely wrapped up. Um, here's the bag. You get a little posh bag with it. Here is what it was lovingly wrapped in. I think the the little stamp. Oh yeah, and it had the little Christian Dior stamp on it, and it was very nice. But obviously, I ruined that. Um, so the one I was really desperate for was Rouge Trafalgar, and I just think this is stunning. It's the littler one because obviously I don't expect people to buy a two hundred and twenty-five pound one. Or so yes. Um, one day when I can afford it, like I said, when I make it on YouTube and I have an extra bit of income, then I will, you know, treat myself to these things. But, you know, oh, it's just, I wish you could smell this. Um, obviously, I'll link all of these down below. Um, but, oh, just stunning. Um, but yes, my aim is to have like one big one and then have like maybe two little ones. I have all the testers over there as well. So, yeah. They look so pretty. I'm very proud of that section. Um, but yeah, it comes in this lovely box, which I just am in love with. Just think it looks so aesthetically pleasing. Um, and they popped in a, a couple in here as well. Um, these are the uh, these are what they class as like the testers. Um, so we've got. I'm definitely butchering this, so please don't take my word for this. So I've got Gris Dior and amber nui um, so that's the amber one which is lovely and gris dior is that one and up there i've also got the mini luckies uh oud ifasan uh tubercula and jasmine de angies i think Obviously, I did just say I was going to butcher their names, so I definitely butchered those. Um, so yeah, I'm so chuffed with that because I just love that perfume. Um, I will obviously be saving that for some special occasions. And um, they also popped in, I think my mum told me this was like a birthday free gift um, from them, which is just stunning. So... Um, it's got a like leathery um, perfume there which has got Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet in it and I think it is refillable so that's good and I'm not going to get this out because when I got it out on my birthday it took me forever to get back in so until I use it I'm going to keep it in but it's a key ring but when you open that it's a mirror um, so I just think that's so stunning so I'm going to make a nice little space on my dressing table for the perfume as well um but yeah that was my phone i tell you this every time that that's just not me farting i really need to learn to not just bring my phone um, but yeah that is everything i got for my 32nd birthday 2022 um i apologize if this video has gone on a bit longer um because obviously i have popped my beauty treatments and my what I got for my birthday together um, but I hope you have enjoyed it whichever bit you've watched um, like I said if you haven't already please do make sure you are subscribed to my channel um, it would mean so so much to me um, it's, it's my one birthday wish from you guys is just to please subscribe and watch my videos um, and yeah I'm gonna go tidy these bits up and I hope to see you in my next video. And like I said, if you have any questions, please just contact me in the comment section or via my socials. I will be um, so happy to help you guys. And I will try and link everything I can um, down below um, in regards to all my beauty treatments, what I got. Some of them I don't know where they're from, so I'm not going to be able to link them. But like most of them I should be able to. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you in my next video and please do give this video some love and thumbs up and do make sure you subscribe. Bye guys!